Deertown High School Soccer presented by Penny Pinchers. Cost plus 10% on South College Street in Cedartown. Bulldogs coming off of a uh, big overtime win their last time out uh, earlier this week in a big region matchup, which really, um, Chris, kind of uh, – Kept them in the playoff hunt. Yes, it, it, it will be so nice if we can go down to Central Monday, cheer the boys on for a victory and possible, you know, fourth seed and a place in the state playoffs. I'll tell you, this will be the toughest four seed team if Cedartown's able to make it that might be in the playoffs. I agree. These boys, have, they played some so tough soccer in a tough region. Thankfully, the sun is behind the clouds right now as we're just underway. When the Bulldogs and the winless Harrelson County Rebels. See Ronaldo Segura, number 24. He's getting the start in the back back there, center back. Plays for the Cedartown football Bulldogs. I guess say football for both. <laughs> football Americano. There you go. Left-footed punter, kicker. And he had... Broke his leg, didn't get to play a lot this season. Played, I think he played more toward the end a little bit, but with Mario, <laughs> thank goodness. Well, Mario, you know, was, I mean, one of the best place kickers Cedartown's had in many, many years. Yes, and that field goal threat. I just uh, Here goes Cedartown. Maybe a chance. Backed away by Harrelson County. Uh -oh. Chance for the dogs right here. And it oh. is going to be deflected away at the very last moment. Good defensive play by the Rebels. Allen Tomas almost with the shot there, but that was a good play by the Harrelson County boy. Throw in uh, Anthony Donato. Oh, a header. Header almost went oh. in. I think he called offsides, too. And they're going to have somebody kick for the goalie. It's so easy to get offsides on, on a play like that, especially right at the goal sometimes. Forced out by Harrelson County. Sear Tian throws it in, hoping for a quick score early. Already had one denied. Here's a chance right here on the right side, but he has to take it in the corner. Kicked back toward the center and deflected by the Rebels. Throw so in. Have a throw in. Yeah. And uh, they're active. The boys, they, they move the ball. They bring their defenders up. Number 12, Winry Escalante, Cherokee Elementary School. And Campbell played a lot of soccer with, with Winry through the rec department. There's uh, a chance. Number it three. Is oh, good. Just, yeah, just, just deflected away off the fingertips. In case you missed the girls' game, the Lady Dogs won 3-1 to one over the Lady Rebels. That was Jonathan Cordero with a shot. His, his sister, Cynthia, plays. she's senior, plays for the Lady Dogs. Uh, good corner. That was a good play by the goalie. Very good play. There's a header, almost went to the right side, picked up by the dogs. We're, we've got that pressure. Look, I mean, we've got everybody on this side of the field. Uh-oh. Good play by the goalie. Uh, we were inside. Good curve on the kick there, but the goalie right there to get to it. He throws it out. And Seertown trying to steal it away. And he does get it away from the Harrelson County player toward the middle of the field. Now, it's... Tito Segura, that's Maritza's uh, brother, number 23. He's a freshman. Kick ahead, Kick maybe ahead. a chance. Uh oh, shot. Maybe a chance for Seertown. There it is. There you go. First. Who was that, number eight? I'm looking. Just a tad loud. What do you think? <laughs> I'll take it. Man. 
Cesar Molina. He goes out, sub in. I like I like what he's doing there, getting some kids some playing time. Good pass ahead. Maybe another chance here. Just got it beyond, and that's oh. going to be uh, Harrelson County's ball. You can tell a lot of these boys have just played a lot of soccer together. Their passes. David Perez, number 18 for Cedartown. A header. Cedartown ahead. Now Harrelson County knocks it the other way. Now look at pushing ahead, trying to go. Uh oh. Oh. It bounced off the Harrelson County defender's chest. There goes the goalie. Now he's throwing the ball. That's a good throw. <coughs> Very good throw. God. I wonder if he plays. <laughs> well, he wouldn't play baseball because same time. <laughs> right, here goes number five. He's working it on the side. Alan Tomas working hard. Uh oh, Harrelson County steals it. And there goes Cedartown back with the ball. And Winry, number 12. <laughs> here we go. Uh, oh, might have a shot. Uh, Harrelson oh, kicked the corner. Looks like it will be a corner kick here. So I ate popcorn between games. I knew that was a mistake. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we thought you know we when were those kernels get, get stuck under your tongue, and it's just it's like it's the worst thing ever. Well, we had the same experience Chandler did. It's not going to be. It won't be a corner. Well, they let, no. They ended up throwing it in, and he uh, they he ended up getting a kernel up under his tooth. Now, how Ooh. that happened, I have no idea. Trip with the dentist the next day. Uh, it goes 25, passing ahead. Uh, caught offsides on number five. Just barely. That's the thing about soccer. It's, it's a game of inches. It's not like football. <laughs> or you can, game of yards. Yes. And it's kind of, I guess, with the line of scrimmage, the thing with the, you know, the, the, off, uh, the offensive player can't get past the last defender. And that's kind of like the line of scrimmage, I guess, what you call it but it moves with that defender. Jerry Juarez, number 17 for Cedartown. Kind of getting bunched up around the ball. Got to get back to our passing lanes. And we did, the girls did that a little bit toward the end of the game. Yes. Almost cost us. That's, ooh, just shot, just wide. Well, we do that at times, and that's just – more of the boys have played together for a while outside of school ball and more, you know a lot of the girls well we've got a mix of right, a range of ages right. seniors there's several seniors and several sophomores but we had to like, go out of the area to play club ball and Campbell plays Out of Oxford, Alabama. There goes 25. Again. A lot of driving. Yes. And Maybe a chance for the dogs oh, here. Just oh. knocked away, but still, Seertown will have it. Toward the goal, oh. off the head and just over the – Over his head. Yeah, <laughs> over the head and over the net. Number 11 there for Harrelson. <laughs> Eight minutes into this. Seertown with an early one nothing lead, one nil. Cedartown will right. kick from the corner. There right, we go. Right, a little lob right in front. Oh, the header, and it's going to be out. Cedartown, I think, will have it. Uh, let's see. Nope. Oh, looks like a is going to kick it. He's tall. <clears throat> you know what? Nobody ever said that about me. I got kindergartners that are taller than I am. <laughs> you don't have to be tall, though. To... <laughs> so you were a baseball player, weren't you? Uh, yes, a long time ago. You don't have to be tall to play baseball. Well, I ran in. Uh, 
I mean, look at Ozzy Albies. He's like five foot eight. <laughs> or Ozzy Guillen. Ozzy, yeah, Ozzy Guillen. That's Go, another Going one. back. Little Limmer. <laughs> oh, I miss him. Met him one time at a uh, Not uh, one golf of the, course. One of the Atlanta. nicest guys you'll ever meet in the game. Right. We actually went to the. He's a UGA uh, uh, product, wasn't he? I believe he was. I go 17. Here he wore his. Oh, there's a kick just a bit too high. Keeping it. Oh, is he going to stay in? Be able to get it. It's going to be out on on the dogs in Harrelson County ball. Ran into Kenneth Holtz at Walmart before I came here today, and and you know uh, I saw the pictures from the rec department the other day of honoring him and Verdell. That was a great thing that uh, they're oh, able to do. Shot. There's, yeah, there he yes. is. It's good. I think 14. 14. Christopher Vale. Good shot. I mean, just turn just to, right there in front of the goal. Two quick goals, 10 minutes in. It looks like there's a fire possibly off in the distance. Yes, I see it. It's over. It looks like it's on like a, a little mountain, kind of. It's pretty. Hope everything's okay. Oh, good pass. Good touch right there. Cedar Town. And they're working on their spacing a little bit more now. They want to score again. Well, they've got a chance to do it right now. Dogs have kept it on this side of the field just about this entire half. Uh -oh. Another chance uh -oh. and just saved there by the goalkeeper. If you'll notice all the cleat marks on, on you know, that side of the field, Andrew, you yep. can tell. And this side is basically untouched. Yes. But you can start I, I noticed one of the players for number thirteen for Harrelson, he slipped. Good pass ahead. Cedar Town. Working the ball around, trying to find somebody. There's 13, trying to hit it. Rebels trying to get across that right. midfield stripe, but it's not happening. They just can't get anything together right now, but that's, that's a credit to Cedar Town. There he goes. Good, good bounce on that ball. Uh-oh. Ooh, oh, oh, just off the right. Wow. Just off the right pole. Great idea. <clears throat> Two nil, dogs lead, 12 minutes in to the first half. Like I said, uh, Monday at Central, and then Tuesday we're supposed to go to LFO, and then Thursday at home, senior night, Rock Mart. Come out and support these dogs, lady dogs. Me and dogs. A little touch. Oh, a little bit. There's a chance that is score. in. Yes, Great. sir. Great shot. Great shot. Let's see. That's number six, I think. Number or five. Let's see. I, I believe it's five. It's got to be Allen because I don't see Gabriel Atkins out there. He kind of – he's sleeveless sometimes. <laughs> Yes, uh, it was number five. Three nil dogs. Alan Tomas. They kick it ahead. Oh, I'm trying to get a little pressure here. Uh, but like I said, if these if they can win Monday, that would be huge. First time it is going to be sent back by our goalie. First time I think it's been on this side of the field all all match long here, 13 minutes in. Yes. Good job by Winry there, number 12. It's 3 0, Cedar Town oh. trying to get their fourth goal. Now we're looking to push the ball now. We, we, we've had numbers. Oh, there's a shot right off the left side Strong. of the Nets. Strong. He absolutely got all of that one. Had he located that just a farther to the just a bit farther to the right, the I don't care how good of a goalie you have, it's not gonna uh, he's not gonna get to it. Just, just too hard. On his foot, oh, they called something on it was on Cedar Town. 
you know, you, when they kick the ball, it's, it's just millimeters, just years of practice. You're watching Atlanta United, and I think tonight at ten o'clock, the United States and Mexico play, and this is like big World Cup implications. I just heard that on the radio. Which I guess I'll find out when I wake up in the morning when I go to work. Head Cherokee. It is, after all, a Thursday night, not yes. a Friday night. <laughs> bedtime. <laughs> 10 o'clock is about my bedtime during the week, anyway. See, it's down. just about below the tree line. I'm kind of glad with the clouds, the way you, you were telling me earlier about the glare. There goes Cedar Town. Five wants the ball ahead. It's about a five on four right here. Good pass. Maybe a shot here. Uh -oh. Spinning around to the oh, center. Nobody's slipped. there, though, and he did slip. Yeah. Still alive, though. Dogs take it back. There he goes. Maybe a chance again for Ooh. number five, and it is yes. good. Good shot. Two in a row. I believe that's his third goal, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong. I know he's got two. Four to nothing with 25 minutes, twenty just under 26. Great shot. We just look more aggressive now. Getting comfy. I like it. Uh, I think we've got a sub. There comes, uh, looks like Gabriel's coming in. What's the time we got on the clock? It's 25.58. Taking number five out. Let's see. Now, Gabriel's got his sleeves like down four. tonight. Is that four in there now? Yep. Let's see. Uh, uh, number six came in. He's got his sleeves up, but he's got his gloves on. Gabriel's a freshman. Cedar Town. Go Cedar Town, get it ahead. Shot. Score. Yeah, there it is. Great shot. And just like that, it is 5 nil. That was number 18 for Cedar Town. David Perez. Great shot. Right. Like number 18 went out. 15, possibly, I can't tell for the glare. Oh, they're ready. Again, Cedar Town takes possession. And again, they're taking it down the field. Look at and those. again, they might have another shot. Gabriel. Gets past one, gets past two. Shot to the oh. goal. It's going to be in score. there. Another score. Uh oh, was that Gabriel? Just went into the game? I believe it, it was. It is, yeah. yeah. Gabriel Atkins. I mean, as soon as he goes into the game, now he started the other night. I know when we played Ridgeland, we played Heritage. So, I, uh, Coach Rice and Coach King, uh, it looks like they started a few different guys, but they're making a lot of subs, getting people in. You know, they – tough overtime, you know, I guess extra time. The other night, now there goes Harrelson. He said, I've had enough of this. But Seertown says, uh-uh, we're going to take it the other way. Ronaldo Segura there, 24. His favorite game was capture the flag. Tito Segura, pass back to the goalie. I love to see that. Makes the defense work. Turns them into an offense. Slipping right there on that side. Yeah, it's a little slick out there. Good pass. Look at that. How about another? How about another chance? Oh, Ooh, oh runs into yeah, him. run into him. No they foul call. Let it go. Yeah, let it, let let him play. Maybe another oh. shot to the Ooh. goal. That's in there and good. Number fourteen. That is Christopher Vale. Great shot. Seven Neil dogs. Telling you what, these kids are looking great. I love it. 
After that, I guess overtime, because in soccer, after you play regulation, you go into two 10-minute overtime halves. And if, if nobody scores from that point, then you go into sudden death. And if we don't have a victory in sudden death, then it goes to – or it goes to penalty kick, excuse me, and then sudden death for the second one. And that's – last year the girls had a double sudden death overtime loss at Central. And there are no ties. No. In region play, they do not tie. If, you, if it's a non-region game, then they don't worry about it. It's just you go on about your way. All right, they're they're talking to Kevin over here. Maybe on a uh, what to do. They might call it okay. When you get a certain score, they'll end the half and then they'll so they'll go to halftime. I don't know. Or is that final? Scoreboard's kind of going off. Let me take my headphones off and I'll ask. Yeah. Hey. Kill it. Halftime. Halftime. Okay, it is halftime. And it's a 7 0 lead for the dogs. Uh, and real quick, and I imagine this halftime period will probably be pretty short, too. Um, you know, Seertown, a bit slow to get started, but once they started yes. scoring, they started scoring one after another, after another, after another. It, it, I guess it looked like the Coosa River the other night, or Big Cedar. Yeah. <laughs> but I, it, it, when we start the second half, they'll only start with 20 minutes, too. So I don't know how long halftime will be. Either way, we will uh, step aside so our sponsors can have some time. Your score at the half, a shortened half, is Cedartown 7 and Harrelson County 0. And we will come back in just a moment with more Cedartown soccer. Stay with us right here on the Big Double A's Facebook Live, YouTube, and the NFHS Network. and save big at Penny Pinchers. Cost plus 10% on South College Street in Cedartown. High quality hand cut meats and produce and low price national brand name dry groceries and lots more. And while you're there, stop and get something fresh and delicious from the deli. That's Penny Pinchers. Cost plus 10%, 430 South College Street in Cedartown across from the post office. Open 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Saturday and 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. on Sundays. That's Penny Pinchers. Cost plus 10% on South College Street in Cedartown. Cedartown Automotive is your one stop for all your automotive needs. Oil changes, new tires, tire repair, brake work, tune-ups, air conditioning, service, or repair. Think Cedartown Automotive. The fine folks at Cedartown Automotive are serious about their job and ready to help you get your car prepared for the months ahead. So why not stop by Cedartown Automotive today on East Avenue in Cedartown? That's Cedartown Automotive. Call them at 770-749-5040 or go by and see them at 107 East Avenue in Cedartown. Let's get back. Have you been to Croker's Hardware and Supply lately? Croker's is the place to find everything you need from boots to fencing, from plumbing supplies to wood and gas stove fittings, everything, even paint and flooring. Whether you're building or repairing, everything you need is right here at Croker's Hardware on East Avenue. Name brands galore right here in your back door. Orca and Yeti coolers and tumblers, case knives, native eyewear, buck stove grills, and more. At Croker's, you can find everything. Go by and see the friendly staff there at 1192 Rockmore. Highway. That's Croker's Hardware in Cedartown. Cedartown Automotive is your one stop for all your automotive needs. Oil changes, new tires, tire repair, brake work, tune-ups, air conditioning, service, or repair. Think Cedartown Automotive. The fine folks at Cedartown Automotive are serious about their job and ready to help you get your car prepared for the months ahead. So why not stop by Cedartown Automotive today on East Avenue in Cedartown? That's Cedartown Automotive. Call them at 770-749-5040 or go by and see them at 107 East Avenue in Cedartown. Rocky and Patty Tillery, two Cedartown High School graduates. 
graduates, and they stayed right here in the county and went into business. They employ right at 100 people, and they've been doing that for a long time. Most of their work is from out of the county, but they want to push our youngsters here, no matter what they're doing, Little League, Pony League, high school baseball, basketball, football, and soccer, and that's Polk County Public Service. They appreciate serving you. Let's get back to the Cedartown Bulldogs right here on the Big Double A. Cedartown High School Soccer presented by Penny Pinterest cost plus 10% on South College Street here in Cedartown. Along with Chris McKelvey, I'm Andrew Carter, about to begin the second half, a very short halftime period, a short first half as Cedartown has dominated and they lead 7-0. I Just, don't even think the officials were ready, Andrew. <laughs> they kind of jumped up. And there are there is 20 minutes on the clock, correct? Yes, correct. But if we hit 10, I think that's it. I think so. Yes, yeah. so we, if we score three more goals. Officials are out there and... Here we go. Second half underway. Seven nil dogs, and Seertown has possession. We're passing the ball around. Looks like, you know, we're, we're going to do a few things. Coming out of halftime, getting their legs back under them. Good not crowd. Much, yeah, not much of a break. Yeah. <laughs> not that they really needed it. They were on the same side of the field pretty much the entire first half in a very short first half. You could just about still see the T in the middle of the field for, for Thiago. Yes. And you can just barely see the yard marker, 50, 40, 30 yard line from football season. Grass is slowly starting to turn green. Uh, and once it does, it. once it does, you oh. won't be able to see any of the, there's a kickback for Cedartown. You won't be able to see any of the uh, numbers once that grass starts growing again. Est uh, Estrus Reynoso, number 10 for Cedartown. Getting some action tonight. That's a good kick there by the Harrelson County. It looks like Cedartown showing a little class, working the ball around. Uh, here we go, though. Number three. Oh, Got it. great shot. Jonathan Cordero. Eight nil. Sophomore. Good shot. You can hear his mama. She's tickled. They were at the game at Ridgeland. They made the drive up. It's a long drive. I will be happy not to have to make that drive again. Amen. We've already played them in baseball, so that's the last time we ever have to go there unless we play them in non-region play sometime. Well, you know, I saw her the other day that Georgia High School, they voted to go back to six regions or six classifications. You know, and I like that a lot. Yes. I, that means we'll be able to play teams that are close by us. We'll, that, Cedartown will probably be in the same region with Rock Mart and, and uh, probably uh, – well, Rob March down to 2A, that might be kind of a stretch. You just, yeah. you, you just never know. But we could be in, in regions like with Harrelson County, with yes. with maybe uh, some of the other teams around uh, the area, maybe Bremen too. Uh-oh, here's a shot, maybe. Maybe another chance. Eight nil, dogs lead. Another chance maybe to get our ninth goal. Oh. Here's the kick. It's deflected away, but maybe a chance here in the corner. Oh. It is oh. just off the goal. It doesn't go in. It's going to be out of bounds. Eduardo Lopez, number 21, he just put a little touch on the ball. Yeah, I'd love to see if we could play, you know, have possibly Villa Rica or somebody else, just where we don't have to travel. There's a corner kick. It's it's a header that's going to be forced oh. out by Harrelson County. So another another corner kick, yep, I think. I think, yep, Gabriel's going to have the corner right here. Just taps it in. Tap to the center. Now uh -oh. kicked away. Uh -oh. Now here's a shot. Oh. Yeah, just got a little piece of it. Another one. Deflected another one right off the back of a defender for Harrelson County. Yeah, I'd love to be in a region like with a Villa Rica or something. Years ago, we were in the same region with Villa Rica before they hit their growth spurt. Yes. Well, you can talk about regions maybe with Villa Rica. Heard County could be in your region again. I would take it. It is just for the travel alone. Geographically speaking, definitely. Yes. Well, and maybe we could get back to some closer rivals. 
You know, I miss the I miss the Pepperell and Harrelson County and and Rock Mart rivalries that yes. we would always have. In all sports. In all sports. I, I, I remember back in football with Joey King. I mean, when he was a sophomore playing up there, just those days. There's another kick. It's going to be partially Uh-oh. deflected, and the goalkeeper will keep it away. 8 nil dogs lead, and I believe, as we mentioned before, if we get to 10 nil, the game will be automatically over on the GHSA Mercy Road. Mercy Road. <clears throat> Don't get to say that out but going to send it back to our, our goalkeeper to kick it back. I don't think they made any changes at goalkeeper. I'm going to pull away from the game for a moment to give you guys a look at this sunset. That's it is beautiful. absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. Just take a look at that, folks. The colors in the sky. Just absolutely gorgeous. And you can kind of see uh, Indian Mountain back there. Just the top of it, right there where the sun went down. Absolutely beautiful. Beautiful. Back to action here on the on the soccer field. You didn't miss anything, we promise. Here goes Cedar Town. Maybe another chance to score. Eight nil. Oh, good Kick little touch. to the center and to the goal. Yes. Got it. Score number four for Cedar Town. Brandon Brian Sandoval. Had Nine mentioned nil. His, hadn't mentioned his name. Getting a lot of people involved tonight. (laughs) Come on out next Thursday night and support these dogs. Senior night. Rock Mart here. Rec night. Bring your... Child play soccer. Come on up. How about the interest in, in rec soccer continues to grow every year? It's amazing. Thanks to our city council and city was able to secure the grant and improve what we have. And, and uh, more on the way, too. Yes. Andrew's part of that. Yes. I can tell you firsthand knowledge. More <laughs> is on the way. Awesome. More grants have been approved and uh, more... Improvements coming to the new Goodyear Park. We just have so many kids that get involved. I mean, you look right here at the boys and the girls game. Oh, that's forced away. And it helps our middle school, our high school, it helps kids get involved, gives them something to do. Exposure to a new sport. Cedartown's passing tonight. Oh. Really fantastic. A little tree up there, but it, it looks like he kind of tripped over his own feet. It's a credit to Harrelson. They, even though the scoreboard is 9 to nothing or 9 nil, uh, they have played hard. Maybe about to score the 10th goal Uh-oh. here. Chance right here 21. in the center. Yes. It's good. It's good, and that is the 10th goal, and that might be it. Eduardo Lopez. Let's see the officials running to the center. He's coming over. They're talking. Are they going to play a little bit more? They might. I don't know. They're talking. Kind of like a while ago. Uh-oh. Blew the whistle. That's oh. it. That's your final, folks. 10 0. Cedar Town defeats Harrelson County in a shortened match. And I'll tell you what, folks, uh, this was a game Cedar Town, after that grueling uh, overtime win in region play earlier in the week, a 10 0 win for this uh, squad is just what the doctor ordered uh, for Cedar Town uh, soccer. Of course, brought to you by uh, Penny Pinterest Cost Plus 10%. Chris, this was uh, a game that. Uh, uh, you know, Coach King and the staff really needed to have, and they really uh, showed out in this contest with Harrelson County. A yes. game they, they they should have won, a game they should have dominated in, and they did. Right, they did. They took advantage. They, Coach King, Coach Rice, they, they're pushing these boys. You know, Coach Morris, that's what he would have done. That's that's what he, he wants to see, and they're playing hard for him, and 
and, you know, and that's just a, a credit to the the coaching staff and the high school. And we appreciate it. And appreciation, Big Double A, for being here tonight. It's been a lot of fun, and this team has been a lot of fun to follow. Our plans were to do the Rockmark game, but unfortunately, due to scheduling conflicts, we're not going to be able to cover it. Uh, maybe, just maybe, if Cedartown can make the playoffs, they've got one more region game to go, and that's the, the central game, the rescheduled central game on Monday. Monday. If they can win that game, they could get a fourth seed into the playoffs, and where they go from there, who knows? Yes. Uh, so it's just about making the playoffs. We've only got one more home game left, and that is against the Rockmart Yellow Jackets. That is for sure the last home game we'll have uh, for this season. So, Chris, what, what do you think? Final thoughts on this matchup? Uh, great game. Great win for the girls. Close game. And the boys pulled one out that they should have tonight. And, and it's just good to see. And got some kids playing tonight and that don't sometimes get that opportunity to play. And that's it's just a credit to Coach King. And so, hopefully, come out next Thursday. And we'll let you know. If not, we'll keep everybody on the big double A with Logan, you, let y'all know and listen in the mornings. We'll give you the recap. We certainly will do that. Again, your final, 10-0. Seertown wins in a dominating fashion here at Doc Ayers Field. For Chris McKelvey, I'm Andrew Carter. Remember, when the dogs play, you'll hear them and see them on the Big Double A. Have a great evening, folks, and thanks for joining us for Seertown Soccer presented by Penny Pinterest Cost Plus 10%. Have a great evening, folks. <laughs>